In terms of those with hormone receptor positive, HER2 negative metastatic breast cancer, what are the biggest takeaways you'd say from this year's ASCO 2025? Oh, such a fantastic question. I think it's been an exciting time. I think we're hearing a lot of good data at ASCO pertaining to hormone receptor positive breast cancer, and our treatment landscape is really getting shaped up with multiple options that are going to be available. The Inava 120 is a triplet regimen evaluating Inavolucid, fulvestrant, and pelvisiclib in the first line metastatic setting for patients who are endocrine resistant, meaning recurred on or within 12 months of their endocrine therapy bearing a PIK3C mutation. We heard the overall survival data, so the very first time we're seeing overall survival with the PI3K inhibitor, uh, which has been nice to see and, and offer, especially because the prognosis for this control arm was so poor with the median PFS of seven months that I think it's a humbling realization that we need to do better there. And so this up, upfront efficacy is important. Other than that, we've heard data on novel surveys and novel protax. We've heard patient-reported outcomes from Ember 3. We saw, again, Weptogestrant, our first in human protac, which was very exciting as well. Again, common signal. We're seeing the signal for monotherapy in ESR1 mutant tumors, and we rely on, hopefully, combination partners to further improve outcomes. So I think it has been an exciting time. Uh, we're continuing to see a lot more emerging therapies that we're excited about, new cell cycle inhibitors, new mutant-selective PI3K inhibitors that can have better toxicity profiles, CAT6 inhibitors, um, and, and novel endocrine combination. So really looking forward to see how we can continue to shape up treatment uh, landscape for hormone receptor-positive metastatic disease.